One of the top comments on the Aether Modern release trailer put things into words more elegantly than I ever could. Quote, Aether is not just a Minecraft mod, it is THE Minecraft mod. And the more I thought about this comment and what the Aether meant and means to Minecraft, the more that resonated with me completely. It is perhaps the most recognizable Minecraft mod in history, and to say it was ahead of its time doesn't even begin to scratch the surface. You couldn't escape that glowstone and water portal. Tons of people who knew nothing about modding tried desperately to get that beloved portal to work in vanilla. Dozens of forum threads and community creations over the years, and... It has finally returned. Of course, this is kind of old news as the team has been slowly releasing beta tests and updates over the last few months, but the official release of the Aether for Modern Minecraft, the first time it's been fully updated to a brand new version in 10 years, has just come out for 1.20 on CurseForge. I was on Christmas vacation when it happened, but one of my longtime content creator friends alerted me to it, and I couldn't wait to get home, sit down, and look into it some more, and I was not prepared for the the flood of nostalgia I received and spent a very long time reading old stories and watching videos about the recent updates. So let's briefly talk about this story, the history of the Aether, what it means for Minecraft, and some news from the Aether team on what comes next. The Aether, as its name suggests, is the anti-pole of the Nether. If the Nether is a Hell dimension, the Aether is a Heaven dimension. It was developed all the way back in 2011 by five of the most talented and well-known modders in history for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. It exploded in popularity almost immediately with it spreading all over YouTube and causing rumors about whether or not Notch would add it into the game. Keep in mind, this was before the end was added to the game, so to see a brand new dimension in Minecraft at this time, especially to the absolute stomach twisting scale of the Aether was absolutely mind blowing for 2011. New mobs, blocks, items, structures, etc. And somehow, Despite all the changes, the best part was how easily it was used in tandem with other great mods, like Zeppelin for example. It was something never before seen at the time. In fact, this was the second mod in Minecraft I personally ever played, second to Mo Creatures of course. I have so many fond memories of finally getting that beloved glowstone portal to work and being absolutely flooded with that sense of discovery and wonder and unknown happening all over again, similar to opening Minecraft for the first time ever back in the day. Anyway, without being lost in the nostalgia too much, back in 2012 during Minecraft version 1.4, just a very short time after completely rocking the blocky world, development on the original Aether mod was halted as the dev team focused on the mod's sequel, the Aether 2 Genesis of the Void. Now, there are legacy versions of the mod made up to version 1.12, but those aren't actual developed updated versions. They are just old ports of that last developed Aether version made to work with a few more recent Minecraft updates. After 1.12, there was complete radio silence on the original Aether. Until now. Eight or so months ago, the mod team released an announcement that they had been working on remastering and redeveloping the first Aether mod for Modern Minecraft, and then, as stated, released a ton of beta versions just before the full release. Not to go off on a side tangent, but I found an interesting story from just a few months ago. During this time period between the announcement and releasing the full new Aether version, there has been quite a bit of drama, actually. This is particularly in the Bedrock marketplace. I'm not sure if people are jumping on the opportunity to make a quick buck on some clickbait to try and leech off the announcement or what, but there have been a ton of Aether clones popping up on there, one of which actually got a former Aether mod dev turned Mojang employee involved in getting the developer of some marketplace pack called Aether 2, I mean come on, to change the name of the project. This also led me to see that some of the original Aether mod team are still the ones working on it after all of this time. I love that. And so, the mod feels pretty much the same. I got the most cozy feeling when I first entered that glowstone portal in the new 1.20 edition of the mod. And if you've seen some of my videos, you know me. I love a good nostalgic and modern combination, so obviously this tickled that part of me pretty good. There are still those classic bronze, silver, and gold dungeons and their bosses, all of the famous ores and tool tiers, the mobs like the flying pig and the tameable moas. 
the clouds in the cloud centuries, the beautiful floating islands and iconic textures. It's all here again, and it's amazing. It's once again compatible with multiplayer too, and I'm sure we'll be seeing it added to servers very soon once again. It's all been rebalanced to modern Minecraft's art and new mechanics since 1.12, which obviously has been an astronomical amount of changes. It just looks amazing in 1.20, like it completely belongs here. Something interesting I came across while looking into this is there's a whole speedrun category seeing who can build an aether portal out of glowstone and water and reach the aether the fastest, and it has totally made a comeback with the new update. Obviously, this is from the start of a new world and in survival without any cheats or help. The current fastest with a set seed, or a seed that would be the most optimal for a speedrun like this that I could find is literally only 29 seconds. This is due to them spawning next to a ruined portal that literally has a fire charge and enough obsidian to finish the portal in the chest. Kind of an unbelievable seed for something like this. This person got to the nether in literally 5 seconds, which has to be close to some kind of record. This truly proves that speedrunners will literally try and speedrun any possible thing in the game. Now, last week I ended up live streaming the 1.20 Aether for fun just to see how it was and how it played. Some boots on the ground review gameplay if you will. And well, my chat and I had a blast checking it out and it felt so cozy and nostalgic to play the mod again. The only thing I noticed that was blatantly different and made things incredibly difficult was obviously the change to the way you have to eat food. In the original beta 1.7.3 Aether, the dungeon boss fights weren't actually too bad if you had food, because you could insta-heal with it. In my playthrough on stream though, I had a super difficult time in just the bronze dungeon because I was losing hearts and hunger and it was taking way too long to eat, with the slider moving after me extremely fast, which I also kind of felt like that moved faster than it used to, but that could be me misremembering how it was in beta. Anyway, it ended up being way more fun than I expected considering I have never live streamed a modern version before and hardly play modern Minecraft in general. And we might do a part two, so if you like live streams, be sure to stay tuned for that. Now, what about what's coming up next for the Aether? I've been looking into it and the Aether team is definitely not just dropping this update and gargantuan news and dipping for another 10 years. They are absolutely riding this new wave and keeping the minecart rolling, so to speak. From the Aether mod team themselves, they have stated that for the first time in an extremely long time, they are currently working on a brand new major add-on to the newly released original Aether. What new features and new things that will entail remains to be seen, but now that one step of finally polishing and releasing it for the latest version of Minecraft is done, it's amazing to see that we will finally be blessed with brand new Aether content going forward. And due to the dev team's reputation of always following through with their promises, I can say with certainty that this is a brand new era of the Aether, perhaps the biggest era yet, and I am so excited to see how it continues. And the Aether team also have stated that they are currently working on the Aether 2, which I can only think is the exact same thing as the original mod, polishing and releasing the Aether 2 to modern Minecraft as well. The original Aether 2 was left even further behind, with the base version of the mod being abandoned in version 1.7. And then, there was the Aether 2 Highlands update, which was a huge expansion in version 1.12, but after that, similar to Aether 1, nothing. And now it's all being brought back in the most epic fashion ever. I highly encourage going to relive that nostalgia once again and trying it out in 1.20 if you were a fan back in the day. You won't be disappointed. As for me, subscribe if you like nostalgic Minecraft content and old Minecraft topics and history, and like the video if you love the Aether like I do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Special thanks to my channel members on these signs, especially my night members Jake P2013, FerretWolf95, PonytailMC, the AB Railfan, Caden TMG, Alex LG, Bell and Siggy, Thomas Wellman Boyd, and Crimson, and of course my beloved Lord members, Crazy Carlson, Vapichu, Tor Willem, and Dirty Dan.